Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. Now, you might be thinking, where are you? Where is everything we've built? Well, update 6 has arrived and this is it. Uh, I've started a new game. Um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, avoid some of the spaghettification and, and hideous inefficiency that we had in the last one. Now we've learned a little bit. I say, again, I say we. I say we a lot. I mean me. Some of the things that I've learned, if I can remember them. Um, let's have a look around. Uh, I have skipped the onboarding stuff, so we just need to... Ah, this is Doggo. Hello. We just need to um, plop down the hub and, and get started, really. So, that's the wrong button. Um, let's start looking for iron. Okay, 400 meters, 500 meters, 500, it looks like there's several over there, and several over there, so we'll go this way first. Let's see, there's some uh, limestone right there. That might be useful, hang on. Just on the off chance. Let's grab some... Uh, Grab some food, just in case. Doesn't look like there's anything around here, so... Let's grab the limestone whilst we're here. And it might even be worth putting in a uh, one of our portable miners. There we go. Um, let's go and get to the iron first, I think. Because that's probably where we're going to want to... Uh, Put in our hub, I think. Near the iron, at least. Okay, so, yeah, there's a couple up there. That's good. So, this is the um, uh, Rocky Dunes part of the map, I think. This is uh, recommended for, you know, starting pioneers. Oh, there's one there, look. Um, I can't see the other one. Oh, oh, no, there they are. They're both there. And there's one of those things. Right, this is the sort of update for those B things, I think. Um, so this could be uh, interesting. Oh, it's so slow without all of the gubbins, isn't it? It's so slow to get anywhere. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We'll get there. Hopefully a lot quicker than we got there uh, last time. So, Iron, where are you? You're here. Somewhere. There. Anything else around here that's going to attack me? Doesn't look like it. Right, so, this thing. I need to now not just kill the bees, but kill this thing as well. There we go. Uh, no bees around. Okay. Hatcher. They're now called hatchers. I mean, they might have already been called hatchers, but now we know they're called hatchers. So let's get these off of here. And, whoops, wrong button. We will pop down a miner on there. And we'll get rid of this. And we will do likewise now. Hmm. There is limestone over there. That's not too far. Let's let's see if there's any closer. There probably isn't, but yeah, that's the closest over there. But it does look like there, there seems to be plenty around. There's sort of three over there, another one over there. Okay, so this is the one we're going to be using at least for the moment. Oh, it's so slow. Uh, 
There we go. Get some nuts on the way as well. Right, and we will... Oh, wrong button again. We will put you down on there. Okay, right. Now, hub. Um, yeah. I think for the moment... Um, and where's the... Okay, this is the side that the power comes out of. So let's put it in like that. There we go. So we have the biomass burners. Get rid of the markers on there. We have our storage crate. Uh, we'll chuck that in straight away. Okay, base building. Select milestone. Start with those. Put everything we can make in. And let's start making some iron ingots. And now let's make some iron rods. Okay. That's a start. Uh, let's chuck the iron rods in there for now. And let's go and empty our uh, limestone miner. What have you got here for me? Come on. Oh, that'll do. That'll do for a start. And we'll come back in a minute and fill up again. So, yes, I will go ahead and make concrete. Uh, in fact, I'll get everything I can together to make the, um, uh, to, to get the first milestone unlocked. Okay, there is the big red button. Let's get it sent. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Thank you very much, Ada. Now, first thing I want to lay down then, oops, I do want that, is some foundations. So I will bind those to my hotbar. And I think I'm probably going to need, yes. Okay, well that's fine. I th th What's just happened there? That was not supposed to happen. That was supposed to happen. Right, okay, so. Hmm. Heading out that way is probably the best plan, isn't it? Let's see what the miner looks like on here. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll pop it there. And we will stick, assuming we've got enough, we will stick a smelter in, not too close, because we want to be able to actually connect it to there, like so. No, we don't want a smelter, do we? That's silly. We just want a constructor, don't we? Do we have enough for a constructor? We do. Uh, but again, we'll pop it back there. Um. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, freighter re-entry complete. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, and you are making concrete. And we just want to feed you into storage, don't we? So... Let's pop ourselves down a storage bin just there. Okay, now, I have already, whoops, I have already gone around and collected up some uh, um, biomass, so let's connect up our burners. Um, I'll stick it on there, and then connect up, and connect up. Right. So step one, we are producing concrete. That's good. Now let's go and uh, choose our next upgrade. Logistics. Right, we need copper. Uh, we also need a lot of... Um, uh, a lot more iron. Okay, so, copper. How far away are you?
Not too bad. Let's go and have a look. And let's grab some bits of biomass on the way. I'm focusing on wood because it's, you know, more efficient at this stage. Um, where are you? 300 meters that way. Yeah. This is the one we want. Okay. Um, since I'm here, I will grab some iron out of here. In fact, I'm going to take that miner with me. Uh, that gives me two miners. So if we find the copper... There it is. Right, what have we got protecting it? Anything? This looks too safe. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll grab this and we will. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. Pop down a couple of these miners just to grab this copper out of here. Um, this isn't too bad actually. Then this is as a starting location. This is pretty good. We've got. Limestone, iron, and copper, all within an easy walk of each other. We've got water very close by. Uh, a fair amount of vegetation, so we shouldn't have too many problems uh, powering things for the moment. Excellent. Okay, right. I am going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to basically get a load more um, construction done on uh, crafting done rather uh, of copper and what have you so we can open up the next um, milestone um, and then I'm going to start thinking about actually automating this process so we'll have miners, proper miners on um, uh, the copper and the iron here uh, Oh, looks like night is coming. And one of the things they've done in the update, one of the many things they've done in, in the update, um, is changing the night sky. Uh, there's now weather patterns, so we can get different types of weather. Um, there's more equipment, uh, more building stuff, I believe. So, yeah. Yeah. Lots of stuff to discover. And I am looking forward to it very much. But, in the meantime, I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes or so turning all of this ore into usable stuff. Uh, and I will come back when I'm ready to unlock the next milestone. Okay, and there is the big red button for the second milestone. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I do want an equipment workshop, so I'm going to put that in here next to my hub. Uh, I'll pop it there, and I'll probably end up extending this platform at some point. But that is where we are for the moment. Let's have a look. All that is powered and running. So, the next thing we want to look at is automating our iron production. Now, uh, I know I don't have any miners on me. Um, but there is one here, so... What have we got? They're both pure, or is just one pure? They are both pure. Excellent stuff. Okay. Well, let's grab you. How are we doing? Um, let's try 
that one in still. No, I did not want to do that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going all over the place now. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now, miner, please. Where can we put a miner? Like that. Um, Is that the best place for it? No, I'm going to put it in like that. Facing out that way. Yes. Okay, and then we do want... What are you producing? 120 a minute. Um... Off the top of my head, the smelter will deal with 30, I believe. So we are going to want four smelters. Okay. Okay. That's a start. Right, so four of them. So we want to come out into a splitter and then into two splitters. So... Um, trying to figure out the best way of doing it. So we're coming out there much the same. We want to come out this side, probably. So we'll go there. And I don't have enough iron. Right. More manufacturing. Right. Well, here we go. We have all the parts we need. So let's unlock field research. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Okay, thank you very much, Ada. The map has been oh, unlocked. Thank, thank you again, Ada. Right, so uh, we need to wait for the next one. What are we going to be looking at? Um, we're already on tier two, so hmm. I think logistics is probably the best one to go for because that gives us Mark II conveyor belts, which will be useful because at the moment we have ourselves a pure node that will kick out 120 ore per minute. Um, and unfortunately, it's only able to send out 60. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 60 a minute. Right, let's see if I can get this in. There we go. Um, yes, so we can only uh, transport 60 a minute on these conveyor belts. Um, but this is the setup we've got. Um, so we've got the miner uh, feeding out into a splitter, which feeds out into two more splitters, into our four uh, smelters which both feed out into uh, a splitter, as you can see. So we've got two into one splitter here, two into one splitter there. Uh, I'm going to join these up, uh, not a splitter, sorry, into a merger here. Um, I'll join these up into another merger um, so we can have all 120 uh, iron ingots per minute coming out on a single line once we've unlocked that next tier, uh, that next um, upgrade. So, what I need for that is a lot of iron, I think. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to do that, because we need to make reinforced iron plates for a start, about 50 of those. Uh, which means building lots of rods to make screws, and lots of plates to turn into reinforced iron plates. Uh, and I think we'll also need... Let's have a look. I can't remember. We're definitely going to need rods and plates anyway, I suspect. Uh, yeah, rods, plates, concrete. Well, the concrete's no problem. We can do that straight away. Uh, everything else is going to take uh, a little bit more crafting. So I'll get on that. 
and I will return when it's done. And here we are again. We have another big red button to press. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Thank you, Ada. Okay. Now that means that we can now upgrade the uh, conveyor belts on our iron line and connect up those last two smelters. It also means that we can start moving all of the iron ingots through to uh, constructors. And what I think I'm going to do here... Yeah, what I think I'm going to do here is... I don't know if I've got enough on me, but we'll have a look. Yes, okay, so we want to put in... Uh, a merger, if we can. Yes, we can. Um, that's fine. And we're not going to have enough. No. Okay. I'm going to need to make a lot of uh, reinforced iron plates. So, again, I will cut away, do that, and come back when they're done. Right. This is what we have. We have our four... Um, smelters up and running now. Uh, we've replaced this with a, a Mark II belt. Uh, that's the only bit I've bothered replacing. Because uh, obviously as soon as it goes into the splitter here, it drops down into 60 and 60 and the Mark I belt is fine for that. Uh, on the other side, it all comes out into a conveyor lift. We've got it merging up and we've got another Mark II belt at the end there because we've got 60 ingots a minute coming in there and 60 ingots a minute coming in there, both of which are fine on a Mark I belt, but then they combine and we need the Mark II. And we take that upstairs. And if we head up that way, through the convenient ramp that I have installed, we have four constructors, and each of these constructors is making iron plates. Uh, they're not feeding anywhere as yet, but they will. So I'm going to have this um, node churning out nothing but iron plates. I'm going to have that node churning out nothing but um, iron rods. Uh, and that will be the focus of, at least the start of, next episode. Um, because we are going to leave it there. I'm looking forward to the stuff they've added um, and obviously looking forward to exploring a, a, a new area that I haven't really looked at before. So this should be interesting. Oh, I've just seen there is something up there. I wonder what you are. I'm going to have to go and have a look, aren't I? Let's go and have a look. Let's... um arm ourselves and give ourselves some food. Here we go. Let's see what's up here. Hello, lizard doggo. Okay, and prepare to fight. Who's hostile towards me? Where, where are you? Um, oh, well, you're hostile now, aren't you? There we go. Are you the only ones? It really doesn't sound like you're the only ones. But I can't see anyone else. Okay, so let's have a look what we got. Uh, another pure iron node. That's quite handy. Hmm. Anything else?
No. But another pure iron node. That is very useful. That is very useful indeed. Oops, I don't really want to go over that way because there's a, a spitter over there. Of some, some flavour or other. Okay, so that's that's something to be aware of. That's something we have access to fairly close by. Um, who? You're telling me I'm being threatened by something, but I really can't see by whom. Ah! Where did you come from? Are you this one? Is that the what it's telling me? Is that everything? No idea. Anyway, we will leave it there for this episode, having now just gone and got myself attacked for no reason. Food. Uh, so next episode, we will uh, hook up this um, iron node here and churn out some uh, iron rods. And then maybe we'll go and connect up that other one and see what we can do with that. But we've already got a lot of production for, for so early on. 120 or a minute. That's great. That's really good. Uh, we've also got our copper that we need to connect up over th there, there, down there. Um, so we can start uh, producing cables and um, wire over there. Okay, but yes, we will leave it for this episode. Uh, please do give us a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more and do all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know if there's anything blatantly obvious that I've missed. Um, uh, bear in mind that it is obviously the, the first episode, so I'll probably find most of the glaringly obvious things eventually. Probably. Um, but yeah, if there's anything really obvious that I've done stupidly wrong, then please let me know. Um, other than that, please no spoilers for uh, Update 6. I've managed to avoid quite a few, so I don't know really what's coming. I know that there's... Um, uh, one or two tweaks, certainly to the um, uh, to the to the monsters, but it'll come in time. We'll find out about that in time, and I'm looking forward to it. So please join us next time. Uh, as I say, please do give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe, and bye bye.